What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. And we're taking a look at this absolutely beautiful and brand new floor plan from the folks over at Van Lee. And this is the Beacon, so you know it's gonna be their top end model. And there's a lot to like about this thing. So hang tight, we'll be right back. All right, before we get too much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this massive Beacon fifth wheel. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,500 pounds, a cargo capacity of 2,140 pounds. It's gonna ride on 17.5 inch H rated tires as well. And it's gonna have twin 8,000 pound axles. This thing is an absolute monster. Now one of the slides is in and it's not pushed out at the moment, but we'll see what that's all about. But the reason I'm walking around here right now is because I just wanted to quickly show you this new paint scheme that they have. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the fade right here. This is huge and it's a full profile unit. It is very reminiscent of the beacon that we had for six months. And if it's anything like ours was on the inside, this thing's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So let's take a quick look at the inside then we'll come back out and take a look at the outside of this unit. All right, so as we walk around, you'll see that the entrance is actually behind the midpoint, which is very interesting. It's gonna have a lot of the same storage characteristics that we had in the one we had for six months. Same spider control panel up here as well. Controls your lights, air conditionings, basically controls everything. And all of your light switches wirelessly speak to this. It's similar to what you'd see in a large class A motorhome. All right, so this slide is in right now. I don't know why it's in, but I'm not gonna to try to push it out because it's not my property but you get a pretty good idea what this is all about. Very similar to the one that we had in terms of this dinette area. The dinette area kind of, kind of has its own little nook here and the four chairs, usually two of them are gonna be in the storage underneath and two will be underneath the bed. Has a very similar island to what we had as well. Large single basin stainless steel island has the upgraded insignia four burner cooktop. This is that white linen color scheme front to back versus the one that we had, which had some of the different color changes throughout the different sections. See up here, you got a lot of drawers down here, and I'm assuming just like ours, it's gonna have little cables to prevent you from opening the cabinets too far. Cabinetry work in a beacon is second to none. I mean, it rivals some of your highest end custom built units. So they do an absolutely wonderful job in terms of paint and cabinetry. You have a half bath right here, porcelain foot flush toilet, along with a little sprayer hose right there. Plus you have your wireless light switches here, and then you have your cabinets there. This is likely where your washer and dryer would go. It is kind of reminiscent of a Riverstone, to be honest. And then up top you have very, very huge and deep storage space. So that's really cool. Over here, you're gonna have a large medicine cabinet. Again, there's your cable stop. It keeps the cabinet door from swinging open too far. Nice solid surface undermount sink here as well. And that is a porcelain sink. Plus you have storage underneath there and they move the cables and everything or the hoses out of the way so you can maximize some of that storage, which is nice. You have your toilet paper holder there as well. Very cool. On this side, you have three drawers plus some cabinetry here and if you didn't watch my video on the beacon we had, this is all real stone back here. So this is all hand laid. As is the floor typically. So in the beacon we had, the flooring was all hand laid tile, but it appears they've moved to a linoleum product because this is now a rolled out linoleum. You can see it in the slide as well. It's cool that you can see the radiant barrier under there, but yeah, this is now a linoleum laid floor, which is different. So that's interesting that they made that move. I don't know if it's across all of their product lines or just certain models. Nice LG French door refrigerator. Lots of storage space over here as well. That is a perfect spot for a coffee maker. Very nice. And everything in Beacons is soft closing, of course. Check out this trimmed off area up top, just like the one that we had. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Even the trim above the slides is so much nicer than you see, even in some expensive diesel pushers. Climbing up the stairs. This is on a wide body chassis as well. So you got a lot of room here. Love the Franklin furniture. So that's a huge thing that they do over at Van Lee is they use real residential Franklin furniture. It's the most comfortable furniture you will likely ever sit in in an RV. And it's super nice. And these both fold out into beds 
and these are your power theater seating. Very, very nice. Just like the unit we had, you have these absolutely amazing valances. And the difference between the valances on something like a Beacon versus like our Coachman, you have some real metal backers holding this stuff in. So it's not gonna just fall off while you're driving down the road. It's secured extremely well. The quality that goes into the woodwork, the cabinetry and making sure it's all done properly is really second to none. Up front you have your Televator and you have a huge window up front. This is the first time I've seen Van Lee put a window on the front of a fifth wheel, so that is really cool. Plus you're going to have your cabinets here on each side. And this is kind of the opposite floor plan to the one we reviewed. So in the one we reviewed, the living room was in the back and the bedroom was in the front. This is the reverse of that. The one we had also did not have a half bath in it, so that's one thing you gain with this floor plan. You have your day-night roller shades in this unit as well. Stepping back here, again, here's an example of your spider control wireless kind of keypad to control all your lights and such. Coming into the main bedroom area, you have this really large closet here, but you have this section that protrudes out right here. Not quite sure what takes up that space, but it's probably something in the kitchen. Then you have your hanging area right here on each side. A lot of room above it as well. You have your king size bamboo memory foam mattress and underneath it you're probably going to see some chairs. Oh, they have the chairs taken out. So the chairs are all removed or they're probably in the storage. I think that's where they put it in the unit we had. All of your chairs were in the storage wrapped up. USB as well as your 110 power there plus your switches. Beautiful headboard, absolutely trimmed off wonderfully well. This unit is also going to have three 15,000 BTU air conditioning units in it, which is really nice. They call it a true whisper quiet system. And one thing they do that's different is the actual return air vents are larger than the blowing vents. So the air being sucked in, it can really suck a lot of air in and then blow out a lot more pressure because of that. Then you have your TV already mounted in here, plus you have four drawers there and two drawers here which is nice. I don't think that lifts up. These are all going to be thermal pane windows. So these are insulated windows. You can see that right there. These are designed for full-time usage. So they warranty these units and design them for full-time living. At least since they've talked to me, that's what they've been doing. And then really nice one-piece shower with a bench that attaches to the wall. We tested that out on our unit and it held up held up really good. We did have a small issue with the shower, but they fixed it and they sent a technician out, which was really nice. And then you have all of your cabinetry, drawers, just a absolutely gorgeous area in here. Dual basin kind of vanity area coming around. What do you guys think? beautiful unit on the inside. That's kind of the story with these beacons is the insides are absolutely gorgeous. But let's see what the outside's all about. All right, so this beacon is going to have an MSRP of $156,000. This is absolutely on the higher upper end scale of fifth wheels, especially considering, you know, how it's constructed, some of the things that they do and how much work they put into the inside. Now, that doesn't mean that's how much you're going to pay. So you definitely want to call them to get the actual sale price of a unit like this because it's going to be much, much lower than that. Also, the uh, overall length of this unit is going to be about 43 feet long. So it is a relatively long fifth wheel. Very heavy and tall as well. You want to make sure you have the right truck, and the right truck for this would absolutely be a dually. Starting from up front, you have the LCI Trail Air Rotaflex pin box. It has this rubber bushing here to dampen and rock, so it basically just helps limit some of the shock and vibration transferring from the truck to the fifth wheel or the fifth wheel to the truck. This is going to have the level up hydraulic auto leveling system a six point system this specific one does not have a generator pre-installed in on it but you can get a generator added to these from onan has 30 pound propane tanks on each side but there is enough room to fit a 40 pound tank if you wanted to up here very thick baggage doors with double slam latches i really like that you have the whole house water filtration system already in place and then you have the water pump, which is mounted in an area that's very easy to access. So that is really cool. Plus, this whole backing here is aluminum, and these are all cut out. So you don't have to worry about stickers or anything falling off. They've just done a really great job with this control panel. And all your gate valves are electronic, so no more pulling handles, right? You simply press a button to open a gate valve or to close it. So that is also really cool. 
You have your ability to turn the ice maker on and off right there. You have your controls for your level up leveling system right here. This is one part of your pass-through storage. It is relatively small. The other side's bigger, but the reason why it's so small is because they give you a lot more storage in the back, and we'll soon get there. This has the Truma AquaGo on-demand water system outside of your furnace. Again, beautiful automotive-grade full-body paint. Same paint booth that they send their big Class A Tiffins through. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is going to be access to behind your refrigerator so you can winterize it. Tires on this are going to be Westlake H-rated tires. This does not have disc brakes, even though it is an option. This does have the same road armor suspension that we have on our fifth wheel, along with the heavy-duty shackle straps with greasable wet bolts and 8,000-pound axles. This has a 12-inch main I-beam with a 10-inch drop frame, so it has a very good structure that supports this unit. Now, here is some of the magical storage that this unit has, and I loved this storage on our Beacon. I miss it so much. So first, you have this huge pass-through area right here that you can just load up with water bins without a problem at all. Then you have another storage right here which accesses this long area on each side. So I don't really need to open that one to show it. But yeah, this basically goes up to this wall. It's about 18 inches deep. Nice thick baggage doors with incredibly strong slam latches and uh, strut arms holding it in place. Back here you have your electric cord reel, so this is where you would actually access your cord so you can connect to your park. But back here is the part that's super awesome about this. This flips up and you can magnetically hold it in place here. Now a lot of people are going to ask why there is no one-piece fiberglass back cap on that, and that is because of this door. If it didn't have this door, typically they would have a one-piece fiberglass cap. But because they have this door back here, they give this huge slide-out tray I was able to put like three mountain bikes plus a bunch of other stuff on it. It was so awesome to have this tray. And it is so convenient to have something like this when you're loading up for a trip because you simply pull your vehicle up, throw everything back here, close it up, hitch up, hit the road, and then you can just offload it on here or from this tray whenever you get to where you're going or vice versa. It just makes the setup process so much better. And it really took having this tray to see how well it works. And of course, this tray does slide out right here. Just absolutely so convenient. This is such a great, great feature to have. You do have to have a chassis that can support it though because it does add a sizable amount of weight. You can see all LED lighting. You have a full walk-on roof and it is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. These are the other portions of your uh, storage hatches. And then you have two huge awnings. You have one large one right here and then you have another one right in front of it. All frameless windows though. Let me step back a little bit so you can see the overall view of what this thing's all about. Full profile roof, front to back. Has three Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet air conditioning systems on it as well. Absolutely gorgeous. But I'd love your feedback. What are your comments on this thing? Because it is absolutely one beautiful fifth wheel. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.